Hey everyone, um, we're going to talk about Netflix. Something that I've been a member of since 2006. I have to say I've loved Netflix. I've been using them, um, uh, again, since 2006. I, I never really cared much for their streaming service. Um, you know, I do watch the occasional thing there, mostly television shows. Um, I don't really watch that many movies on it. I prefer to watch movies on Blu-ray, which, by the way, I picked up Star Wars The Complete Saga. One thing that fucking sucks is the copy protection on this uh, is incompatible with ArcSoft True Media 5 and um, Cyberlink's Power DVD 11 Ultra. This shit will not play correctly, so right now I'm pissed about that. But now getting back to Netflix. For those who don't know, which would be very, very hard not to know, uh, Netflix decided that they were going to completely get rid of the whole combination pack where if you uh, get, you know, you, you kind of had a package deal. If you got one disc out at a time, you're getting the Watch Instantly streaming service uh, included. Or if you got the streaming, you got the disc. There really was no way you can get one or the other. You had to get them both, and you got them for $10. Not a problem at all. Now, mind you, my, my package, what I currently get, is three Blu-rays out at a time. Yes, Blu-rays, not DVDs. You have to pay extra per disc for Blu-ray. Um, and I do it because Blu-ray looks much better. And you can see here's a uh, Blu-ray disc. This is uh, You Again, which was a pretty um, good movie. And this is uh, the Netflix Blu-rays. As you can see, it's a Blu-ray. Um, Netflix announces that they're going to split them apart and basically say fuck you to the customer saying that you're going to have to pay $8 per uh, package. You can't have them both at, for $10 anymore. You're going to have to pay an additional $8 on top of what you currently have to continue keeping what you have. And, and it, it really, really sucked. Me, I wasn't too bothered by it until the following events. For one, you know, I always, I went into Netflix saying, you know what, this is such a great deal, even if it goes up a tad bit more, we're still getting more of a better deal than Blockbuster ever gave us. But then Stars and Netflix decides to have a Cablevision Fox kind of situation where Stars wants more money, Netflix gives them the middle finger, Stars says, okay, fuck you, you're not going to have Disney content and you're not going to have some other things. Now. This is the deal, Net what Netflix doesn't understand is that their streaming service lacks co um, content. It lacks quality content. Uh, for one, you're never going to see a brand new release on streaming. You're always going to see it only on, on, on Blu-ray or DVD, and you have to wait 28 days after the movie comes out in order to get it. Um, now the fact that you're actually losing whatever good shit you actually had, that's where now you're saying your content's worth $8 more a month, and then you lose stars. <laughs> um, and then they pull this shit out. Now, mind you, customers voted with their wallets. And this is one of the biggest t things, which one of these pet peeves I've had with when it comes to gaming is that people don't vote with their wallets. They take the ass raping and they continuously do it over and over and over. Netflix customers have a brain and they basically gave the middle finger to Netflix and said, bye bye, see ya. Something that I wish more and more people would do with video games. They lost a million subscribers. One million subscribers. You have to you have to emphasize this. One million subscribers said, fuck you, Netflix, I'm leaving. Their stock dropped by 19%. 19%. So now the CEO, which his name is Reed Hastings, in the beginning, when this whole fucking thing happened, now this is two months ago, when he first announced that, yeah, this is what's going to happen, he said that this is so we can deliver much more quality content, and, you know, this will allow us to further expand things, okay? Then he pulls this shit out. I want to apologize to my customers because there was a miscommunication. Miscommunication. He says that we did not emphasize why we were splitting up the services. 
we are actually splitting up the services. We're going to make two separate entities within Netflix. We're going to have a new one called Quickster, which is retarded. And then we're going to have Netflix. Quickster is going to be for DVDs and Blu-rays, and Netflix is going to be for streaming. That's why we had to separate everything. And he says that we're sorry we didn't make this that much clearer two months ago. I, I don't know. I have the whole aroma flowing through my fucking nostrils that is bullshit. Now, here's I'm going to explain what really happened. And this is the thing that they don't want to tell you. This is exactly a timeline of exactly what happened. Netflix said, okay, our content's worth more money, therefore we need to charge more money, we're going to split them. A fair assumption of any company that's growing. We want to be able to, you know, further enhance our profits. I'm not blaming them for that. They do it, customer backlash comes, they figure, okay, you know what, this happens all the time with any company, when somebody changes something, somebody's going to get pissed, let's just let it blow down, you know, let it, let it do its, run its course, and let's see what happens. Stars basically gives them the middle finger and says, look, we want more money. You know, Netflix didn't expect this to happen. They probably wanted the deal to go through as, as normal. And more and more customers left. They saw that their stock went down 19%. And they saw that they lost a million customers. And they figured out a way to kind of come up with an excuse to justify the price hike. Now, mind you guys, this is a course of two months Two months, any corporation could come up with the most obscene bullshit you've ever heard. So Reed Hastings comes up with, okay, well, it didn't go as planned. Therefore, we need to come up with a reason, some sort of excuse, and we need to apologize to make it sound like we actually gave a shit. So we're going to come up with Quickster. We're going to split it up, come up with two entities, so that way people will think this is why we had to do it when they never had to do it in the first place. Now, the only good that came out of all this, guys, is the fact that they are going to also include video games in Quickster. Something that I wish um, Netflix did from the beginning. It's a good idea. Um, I never used the, um, what is it, Gamefly service. I never used Block... Actually, I've rented a video game from Block Blockbuster. Who hasn't? Um, I used to rent uh, Super Nintendo games back in the day. So... Netflix, you guys should have been open and honest from the beginning. This is bullshit. We all know it's bullshit. Quickster was an idea that came out of the course of two months because you guys were shitting bricks. You guys had no idea what the hell was going on. So you figure to an apology, you know, come up with an apology so people think you're sympathetic when in reality it's the same shit. You decide to actually make it worse by splitting up the cues. Who the fuck thought that was a good idea? Me, I purposely nail out anything that's available on Watch Instantly. I purposely remove it from my DVD queue. I remove it from that queue so I don't get it on disc when I could just watch it online. You see? Unless it's a movie I absolutely need to see in crystal clear HD, which, by the way, Watch Instantly, even in HD, it looks like shit. Um... You're making it much more difficult. Now we have two separate payment processes, that's two separate bills. They're making it much more worse for us. So what do we do? We basically take a hike, say fuck you Netflix, and let your company burn in hell. That's exactly what's happening, and this is why we need a fucking gamers union. To do this, to make a company shit bricks and stop fucking with us. Because PlayStation 3, yeah, Sony doesn't give a shit because us gamers keep on coming back for seconds. We keep on saying, yes, Sony, we appreciate the ass raping. But when it comes to Netflix, those customers say, you know what? Fuck you. Come on. You want me back as a customer? Prove you want me back as a customer. That's the attitude we need in a gamers union. And that's an attitude that I have. And that's an attitude I hope my subscribers have. So take care. Look out for future content.